Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2, the new strat strategy game where you are kind of the mixture between somebody like Jackie Fisher and Jellico. So you are the one designing your fleet while you also command, command it in battle. Uh, we are playing here with Japan and we started in 1920 while trying to keep the Washington Naval Treaty for as long as possible. Uh, the, after a war with Thra France was no longer avoidable, um, another naval treaty was signed and the result of the, this are those 19,800 ton 12 inch guns ships that I'm still having in 1946 and um, I probably made some mistakes here that I had the maintenance costs far too high for too long so my budget is rather straightened and I can't really afford many new ships and in our last war we also lost one of the Shinanos um, against whom? Battle with Soviet ships, so apparently the Soviets. No, I think. Yeah, we probably lost it just just before that. Hey, how are you? And um, we are currently building three more Yamatos with the strongest gun setup so far: 16 guns with 17 inch. So in that regard, we should be pretty well set, but we have to see how well we can. F um, fight what we can do here. There, it is impossible for me to capture um, the Russian Far East because it's considered to be a home area but I, what I can do is start an invasion in Kamchatka. For that I should probably send some ships there. That is also a good idea because um, you need superiority and with ships there I should be able to fill the demands but I see oh yeah there was a bigger battle so all my ships are basically currently in need of repair okay um, there's not really much I can send there well let's just continue then France has stolen technology from us could revoke the alliance not really I can afford a uh, hit on prestige. We are losing submarines and killing some. Basically the same and I'm down to 17 submarines now. Haven't built some in a long time. A raid on coastal shipping. Large fleet. So that might see another naval battle with battleships and they actually have more battleships ready than me there. That isn't really ideal. Let's see. Now it's only with the light cruisers, which is kind of problematic because those are anti-aircraft cruisers and not really meant for naval battles. Mm, let's, let's steer them right directly towards Pusan in case it's a vastly superior force. So this, they are identified as heavy cruisers and a battle cruiser. That doesn't necessarily mean they are some, but heavy cruisers. Eight eight inch guns, three inch belt, 10,000 tons. Yeah. I guess I go and run. Um, 31, I am, I'm a little faster, but they have a far better armament. So full speed and right directly towards the harbor and hopefully they will survive there. Which isn't really certain. Ah, okay, they launch torpedoes like madmen. Maybe, maybe I'm lucky and something hits. Ah, they're turning away. Okay, one of them has been hit. The Comintern class. 11 10 inch guns. That's basically a battleship already. And we see it's 19,800 tons. Yeah, that's that's more of a, at least more of a battle cruiser than anything else. So my lightly armored 
uh, and the aircraft cruisers can by no means fight this. I just have to hope that the Izumi will be fast enough to get into harbor. But there is nothing I can win here. Absolutely nothing I can do. So I'd rather save my ships. Okay, can you go to harbor? What is needed? Why don't they... Okay, so I can't go in there. Come on. Now please don't tell me we can't go into any harbor here. that okay access violation yes that's a feature not a bug okay so yeah not only can I not okay maybe it was because I was in, in direction mode without yes okay I was in the mode of, of um, setting a course without having selected a fleet that was why there was this mistake mission and I actually can't enter Pusan what BS is this so do I shoot some down no aircraft hit no aircraft hit they have anti-aircraft radar I think They have dual purpose main battery, dual purpose secondary battery, and a shit ton of AA. So, why don't they shoot something down? That's disappointing as well. Okay, I guess I'll let, let them flee so down south here. No, they are attacking 17, okay. Okay, now they are bombing some merchantmen and I can't do anything. There's no way I can fight those cruisers. Nothing I can do. And if I'm unlucky, he'll hunt me down. And I'll lose those ones as well not only lose I mean he has like a mission to sink some ships and he'll soon have that fulfilled so that will be a decisive victory for him when it comes to the victory points and the pres and the uh, yeah prestige he's getting what is Japanese division 17 okay they're <laughs> taking a, a corvette yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so and the Suma is apparently sinking. Or why is it at zero speed? Can't I can't accelerate? No, it's not sinking, but I still can't order it anything, give it any order. Three knots. No idea what that is supposed to mean. Okay, so I guess we hope it somehow survives. no idea what that was supposed to mean with the why I can't go to Pusa. I guess uh, that's a bug I almost I probably should report can't be intended okay Izumi is hit by a torpedo where are the torpedoes coming aircraft I guess no aircraft hit yeah so I guess my anti-aircraft cruisers are being sunk by aircraft. 
Okay, that doesn't look good, to be honest. My god, if it continues this way. Can't I have like air support? What is it here? Air formations, cap, flying. Okay. Hmm. No idea. I guess I will probably lose those cruisers. And more coming. And there come the <laughs> there come the ships. Okay, max speed sixteen. So go as fast as you can. Max speed nine. <laughs> oh my god. I guess my three cruisers will be done. Hey, it can go seven knots again. That'll be a really fundamental defeat. It's crushing me and I don't even have, a, have the slightest chance. This carrier's here. Where are mine? Oh, come on. Yeah, so, uh, can I scuttle my ships and just give up? Complete. Ooh, I actually do have planes. Okay, two torpedo heads. Probably should increase the size of my air groups and the um, airfields, which so far I've pretty much neglected. Now my two anti-aircraft cruisers, even with radar and everything, turned out to be basically useless against the contemporary planes. That is really a big disappointment. These planes are just slaughtering everything. <laughs> and the last one is going down. Okay. Can we please end this now? not the slaughter has to continue okay so apparently my setup isn't appropriate for the fifth for the late 40s major Soviet victory I've lost three cruisers here, two carriers. Yeah, that's w that was why there were so many airstrikes. Lost to AA fire. I just shot down two of them. That's all my three anti-aircraft cruisers did. My God. They were completely useless. OK, 
Okay, what are my carriers doing? Why haven't they participated? And I guess I should start scrapping my ships. Because um, with aircraft getting this powerful, it doesn't seem like I'm going to need my battleships, especially those obsolete old things, anytime soon. Hmm. Well, let's send those two together with, what do I have here, 48, two of the old carriers and one AA cruiser and um, two, three, four, five, six of them to was it North Pacific? So the Kamchatka invasion has a chance of happening. Okay, and three million, three and a half million um, in the red. What it was this design here? 12, 10 inch guns, 25 inch. Well, that seems like a pretty decent ship. No idea whether it's been, it is, is appropriate for the current era though regarding how my anti-aircraft ships were just, uh, my, my anti-aircraft cruisers were just deleted. Trade protection, I mean they were gunned down if we're honest, so it's probably not fully fair, but the aircraft then had an easy game and they, none of them were shot down. And in the sub oh, okay, and I'm losing a light carrier. Cruiser action. No idea whether it's again. Well, I guess let's just try again. Maybe it's with battle cruisers this time. No, it isn't. So I guess we start running right away. What is it? It's night. Okay. Well, maybe my radar technology is superior and that night should mean that their aircraft can't fight. I hope at least. Maybe shouldn't give up this early. Definitely much faster. What is it? Don't even see what ship it is yet. Okay, a, a heavy cruiser. And he's hit by a torpedo. Well, that is at least a good thing. Um, six, eight inch. Well, doesn't look too strong. I mean, it has stronger firepower than mine. But yeah, that was it already. Okay, <laughs> good thing I didn't flee this time. I guess. Um, four million deficit, so I guess I have to stop another Yamato. Let's look at the bases. Um, I should probably increase the size. Where is Northern Asia, Japan, Yokosuka? Is it building? Yeah, I think that means it's building, okay. Yeah, that was the one I wanted to increase. Offensive, uh, no. The army doesn't get money. Because if, even if they win, it's not that many victory points. But I lose money, I lose budget, and that doesn't seem worth it. 
An Italian cruiser has been sunk. Raid on coastal shipping. I guess that's for me and they have carriers. But no battleships. Enemy ships. Yeah. Okay, three carriers here. Four battle cruisers. Okay. If it's true that they only have light carriers. Oh well, we'll see. But it's becoming night. I have no idea whether they do, whether night strikes actually work here. Okay, somebody has a radar contact. Where? No idea. I'm not sure whether I should close in with my carriers this far. Probably not. Why is, what is this for kind of good? Carrier Division 6? Carrier Division 9. Okay, they should just follow Carrier Division 6. So I set them at core. And um, is there? They are supporting. Nah, I think I send them like somewhere here in cruise speed. I don't want them to close in in any way. That's for the gunships. Okay, I'm hitting it quite a lot. And there comes another one, okay. That one already seems sunk, so let's go back here. Um, we'll have to see, actually. Um, so far you've basically seen everything, and the first battle against them was a complete and utter defeat. I only had my three um, anti-aircraft cruisers and they turned out to be completely useless. Both against um, aircraft as well as against their Soviet heavy cruisers, which um, were vastly superior in firepower. And um, yeah, now we'll have to see. Problem is I don't even identify them yet, which would be nice. That seems a little larger here. Ah, okay. Avoiding torpedoes. That's not what we want to see here. I guess that might be one of the enemy destroyers. Okay. Yeah, it sunk pretty fast. Well, at least I was lucky and wasn't hit by any torpedo. So far it doesn't really look like 
this will be in any way decisive. I have no idea what I've sunk. I don't think I've identified a single ship that I've shot at, but the, the speed they went under indicates nothing bigger than a destroyer. I, I mean, this radar contact is lost. Oh, okay, there he is again. Need to change course. Oh, there they are already. Damn it. Oh, God damn it. Wanted to change course, but it was too late. But I think the flood, uh, the torpedo protection 3 is actually pretty effective. So, unless I go completely, I eat several of them, I should survive. Uh, that's not good. So, a <laughs> cruiser lost. Where is the Hashidate? There, okay. It's becoming twilight and it's still a lot of battle left, so I guess we will be able to do some more here. Yeah? Let's just look south again. Where are my carriers? I forgot about them, so they ran away. Let's send them back. Okay, one of their submarines went down. Could be worse. Okay, how is my ku Kurama? Uh, okay, he's still combat capable, I guess. Should probably slow down. Okay, what about the airstrikes now? Current weather, okay. I can't even use them now. Let's pick up every survivor, so that's some additional points. Uh, okay, good. That's one of their ships. I'm always frightened. I mean, I don't care about destroyers. Destroyers are basically my expendable unit. Um, but everything bigger than them is really a cause of concern. And once more, I lost a light cruiser. So, not satisfying. And I'm running out of them soon as well, if it continues this way three months I've lost four of them and I don't think I ever had more than 10 or maybe 12 okay sites and unknown ship there okay let's go back and I guess the mist still doesn't allow air operations yes but okay that's what we got our battle cruisers for it's a transport ship and he's coming out of the harbor running basically into dis my destroyers, okay. Yes, I shouldn't complain about this. Question is though, is there anything left? Um, okay, now I can at least accelerate decently. Next one runs into a mine. Okay. I 
I should. That was this one, right? Yeah, okay, he's going 10 knots. So he should be fine, I hope. Um, but I'll have to see. Thanks for the host, man. You're doing, you're doing what? Ah, hosting me. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, there's a coastal battery, but that seems to be everything that's left. Okay, we have... Torpedo. I've never even done that before. Location. Target. What? There was a battle cruiser spotted. Ninety. Not that long ago. Okay. Range eighty three. That sounds doable. Okay. Coordinated strike. Yes, please. Strike exceeds deck load. What does that mean? Huh no clue what if I take ah ok ah I see they have to be prepared be prepared on deck and there's not enough place on, on, on their um, on board could carry heavy load do you want to have it changed yes Okay. Um, I have no idea whether they are going to. No, it's unready now. Because they changed the armament. I have no idea. Well, let's find out. Where was the battle cruiser? Okay, no idea. Interesting. But it seems at least to be doable. So not completely. Um, 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 impossible to understand the mechanics. I guess that's good. What was this here? Don't even see what it was. Okay. Um, we should probably send the battle cruisers down there. How much longer do I have? Oh, the time is running out. Okay. I have no idea whether this is being considered a win. But did I sink one submarine and a few ships, but I lost one of my light cruisers? Yeah, an unknown ship which is a uh, coastal battery. <laughs> kind of funny that they didn't program it. Ah, okay, that was the airstrike. It's going in here. Bomb hit. Okay, there are, there up here was uh, one of the battle cruisers, okay. AMC, okay, AMC is just a armed um, merchant ship. So an auxiliary cruiser and a TR. Oh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. And good to see that airstrikes seem to work to a certain degree. Probably not. I probably am not using them as efficient as I could. Efficiently, I think. Yeah. Um, but at least they work. My first airstrikes now. Okay, now let's hope the battle ends. Come on. I know in Shibia it's that land feature. What is this ship doing here? Take manual control and send it south. So you stop spotting it, which means I can 
speed up. Wait, can I do another strike maybe? I'm ready. No idea. Ready strike. Okay. No clue. I have no clue what I'm doing here. It's an unknown ship. Okay, there are actually still ships out here. Okay. Well, regarding the speed, it might just be a transport ship, yes. Well, while I'm here, I can sink them. It's a few victory points, even though the you don't build them, they are automatically spawned and basically just there to win you victory points or to lose them for you. Okay, that's it. And I lost another destroyer. So I lost a light cruiser, a destroyer and a submarine. But yeah, <laughs> and it's considered a win for them again. God damn it. Okay, so far not... Ah, well, my initial surprise attack is still in my favor the one that was extremely um, costly as well far too costly okay let's check what whether the uh, soviets have a fleet here now no they don't so i hope i should be able to do the invasion pretty soon take money um, okay submarines I li lose three of them god damn it should probably build a few new ones convoy attack regarding it it's their convoy okay That's a lot of ships. One small carriers on my side. Okay. Screen, yes. Battle cruisers. And more light cruisers. Okay, so how does it work now? Search. I do a strike yet? Oh, here probably. Fire tower, torpedo, dive bomber, torpedo bomber. Okay. Does it say which ship? Yeah, cargo. Ah, okay. So I guess that exceeds it, but if I just choose a new carrier, it doesn't. Okay, good. Um, I probably need some um, escorts this launch strike uh, yeah. oh, no. okay let's see whether I get it to work battle cruiser sighted okay that's promising and two planes only. Well, ah, nine more. Okay, but it's not a coordinated strike. But bomb enemy TR, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, that's not obviously not too impressive then. Especially as they don't even hit them. One aircraft lost. Okay, they bomb up an enemy battleship. another strike no idea why I can't select ok 
Okay. So there's another one. Okay, I really need to get used to this. Torpedo bomber. Got one fighter for escort and a lot of bombers. Let's try this. Strike will then it does for the increase loss. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's sacrifice my pilots. Uh, like the real Japanese did. Spending incredible sums on training them. Wasting a lot of time doing it basically no one getting through the course so those who are left are absolute elite and then wasting their lives like they are replaceable let's do it as well what, what the historical Japanese could do I can do as well right okay that should be the um, convoy so we can speed up charge in to do some damage Yeah, that's the, the convoy. And there come the battleships. Frunze class, let's see. Just 20,000 tons, so um, a treaty battleship, 11, 11 inch guns. Okay, what kind of ca battle cruisers do I have? Okay, they are somewhat newer. 8, 13 inch. Yeah, okay. And I have to check the setup. As I see, I need to go almost complete broadside to be able to use all my guns. Okay, Frunze, Klaus, no, that aren't. Which are they attacking? Why don't they attack the battleships? Hmm. Disappointing. Bomb enemy CV. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. They strike another carrier. Okay. Another torpedo hit and one more torpedo hit. Okay, I'm not complaining. Especially if that actually is a CV and not just a misidentification. That's a lot of torpedo hits. Holy moly. I mean, I sent mostly torpedo bombers. But I have no idea that must be like 12 torpedo hits but so far. I just hope they don't all strike one. Yeah, I mean regarding how slow they are, they probably identify transport ships as a carrier and then strike, strike all of them at once. So the, um, the one uh, transport ship that could be sunk by one Torpedo hit will probably be hit by 10 torpedoes at once then. That would be typical. They love to do this. Yeah, but those torpedo hits I think should come from my destroyers. Do the battle cruisers still shoot the Frunze? I need to... There is a, there is a destroyer in the mix here. So I really need to change course to not get torpedoed. Okay, Frunze has been hit. That's good. 
just charging into the middle here and it's nice to see I even have some combat air patrol over me okay let's turn back down to hunt the frenzy no he's actually already sinking so I can go after the the other transport ships I guess that carrier they are supposed they supposedly have hit probably was just a transport ship okay that should be like time of identification no I don't know what 30 means. Like 1906 means 11 minutes ago. What is 30 here? I have no idea. Oh, here's another. Let's just do that. Long strike. Go. Torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber. Dive bomber. Um, I'm just like okay, no idea whether that works, but seems to actually be fairly easy to set up strikes probably as I said I probably have no clue what I'm doing so it's um, it's far less effective than I could and I mean the targeting I'm using I even have no clue how that works yet I, at some point I guess I'll have to take the manual to find that out but um, yeah I'll have to see how many carriers do they have um, the Soviets I don't know. Ah, oh, here we see. Three and one light. Okay, let's see whether we can find another battle cruiser. so he doesn't torpedo me 19.07 so that was 11 minutes ago 19.06 okay so I guess one of them is fleeing down here let's go for that and try whether we can find him and I need to not forget my carriers which are racing off again cruiser so far okay what is the time okay another 200 minutes then but unless my carriers run into a surface combat group and get annihilated I, that should be a lot um, a clear win for me. Wait, there's a ship here. Ah, yeah. That's that destroyer. No ships left. Okay. So there was all, only, all the time there was only one battle cruiser. Well, at least this is a decisive victi victory now. 
And I mean I'm, I'm comfortably leading in victory points, so I shouldn't complain that hard, I guess. Doctrine, okay, that's fine so far. Carriers, I don't actually think I need new carriers. What I probably need is cruisers. And I guess I need heavy cruisers. Wait, didn't I build some? Yeah. Could build more of those, I guess. 2.6 million per day. So there's been pre-dreadnoughts which were cheaper. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't want trouble. Convoy attack, another convoy attack. Two battleships to carry. Ah, those are my no specific ships. Okay, fleet battle. Only one <laughs> identified as one pre dreadnought. I somehow have my doubts they still have pre dreadnoughts. It's funny though, I've read in the forums to the game. Um, apparently, ships can be turned into museum, museum ships if they have. Uh, um, a special significance, I guess, if they have sunk a lot of enemy ships. So that's like a random event. But somebody said, yeah, I don't know, I never had that. I never scrap a single ship. So that person plays until the 1950s with pre-dreadnoughts. That is another way to play the game. Okay, French government, yeah, we sell it. New dive bomber. Oh, <laughs> it's some time since I had new ones. Yep, I guess we're going to take it. Ah, nice. Soviet BB, unfortunately, only damaged. Minesweepers, okay. France at points two, coastal bombardment. So they do a coastal bombardment. Right? Yeah. That should be the target. Or am I bombarding? And I only have my light cruisers. God damn it. No, I need to bombard something? Okay. I guess, what was that transport ship or maybe a destroyer? Regarding how fast it sank. Well, the good thing at least is that they open fire now. And they've ri they got radar contacts. In the past, when the ship was not identified yet, they didn't shoot. I guess there's some friend or foe identification system now with the radars. Okay, I need to be careful about torpedoes uh, because otherwise that could happen to me, what I just did. Okay, let's speed up and go there. There is the bombardment target. And we could, how much time do we have? More than enough. I can hunt down that ship too. So let's just go up here, pass the bombardment target. I hope they, do they, why don't they fire? Can I order them to fire? No, I can't. I have no idea why. But okay. Sink that one, and then let's. And then we go back and bombard the land target. Okay, that one is sunk too. So you guys speed back, and then I have to hope. 
for identification where where, where was a ship identified an unknown ship ah uh, this cruiser yeah, yeah. or now it's identified as a cruiser it hasn't sunk yet okay so you guys go right in front of it and then you just stop because it's night and this genius system lets you do those um, bombardment missions usually at night where you can't identify the target so you lose the battle and lose the victory points because you weren't able to destroy it and now they open fire okay good can they please kill it yeah they don't shoot I have no idea why another bug that's that needs reporting occasionally they they shoot a salvo or two but that's it okay now they open fire again can you guys please kill it because not killing it is a lot of victory points destroyer fires why why only okay was destroyed perfect okay anything else we could do probably just cruise down here somewhere and by zero or whatever probably just go down here and try to and whether whether I find something else to sink yep rescue survivors unknown radar contact Ah, there's another ship. And regarding how slow it is, it's probably just another transport. Uh, no, it's a little fast for a transport. Oh yes, it is one. Okay. Well, some more victory points for free. And probably some free experience for the cruise. And there comes the next customer. Nice. Even have some time to hunt some more. Okay, that's it. One cruiser, yeah. That was 16,000 points for the bombardment target. All the ships was 22, so basically sh killing that bombardment target was as valuable like as killing a cruiser, a heavy cruiser. This is why it can be so frustrating when you have reached it, no enemy ship in sight, but you can't spot it because it's at night or something like that, and that happens quite often. Peace without border changes or reparations. The question is, do we want that? I mean, Kamchatka invasion isn't going on yet. Maybe we can fight on. Let's do this. Fleet battle. Yeah, they don't seem to have many ships left here. Small engagement. Good thing is, if they decline, I get victory points. Modern quadruple, uh, whatever. Let's sell it to them. And I need to check for planes. Shouldn't forget that. Battleship engagement, invasion battle. Okay, let's hope. Ah, okay, they can't muster. That's perfect. Because I have to hope that he didn't send a modern battleship instead of my crappy treaty ships. 
Okay, the oldest one I have is this dive bomber, so let's make it obsolete. Fighter torpedo bomber is from 43. Uh, float plane scout, I definitely need a new one there. The range reliability. Forward ASW mortar, okay. Improves air search radar, that's good. My carrier hasn't sunk after being struck by a mine, that's nice too. And it, fleet battle, they only have one carrier. Yeah, I guess I guess they have a lot of ships in Europe that they can't send. Not that much actually. Where is their fleet? I mean I haven't sunk at all. They still have 10 battleships and 3 battle cruisers. So, where is it? Oh, there it is. I guess they are just uh, relocating to my position. Okay. Um, let's increase Yokosuka. Convoy attack. Another time they decline, perfect. So I am I am the attacker and only with destroyer is not ideal. But at least I have my good destroyers. That are like really good nice gunboats and good torpedoes. There are eight guns. Okay, first one is going. Oh, what the? What is this? It's quite big, to be honest. Identified as a battleship. Oh, it is a battleship. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, can I torpedo it? From 400 yards? Yeah. Can that one torpedo it? Okay, I don't complain. When I get a battleship coming right at me at night from this distance and I have torpedoes. So let's uh, go for it. And another torpedo hit. That was the third one, I think. Okay. My DD went down though. I mean, how much can the Marat take? Might, but it's impress. I'm impressed that it still seems to go full speed. It's only 19,000 tons, so it's a treaty battleship. How can it be just continue on when I hit him with three torpedoes? That's kind of surprising. Do I hit another one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and it just marches on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no idea how that's possible. But And the problem is though, if he hits us once, we're done, basically. So I guess I should probably kill some freighters first. Just to make sure this is a win in the end. But he seems to get slower now, isn't he? Mm, 
torpedo hit on one of my destroyers. That's un unfortunate. Okay, I guess that one is sinking too. Yep. Okay, the problem is while I don't mind losing some destroyers, especially as they are like almost obsolete or, or obsolete, problem is they have some victory points too. So I can't just, by losing them, I might lose the battle. Where's the Marat? Probably this one up here. Maybe I'm lucky and he gets flooding because he runs away. Yeah, I think it's worth it, especially as I was still, I still had a lot, but that reminds me that I need to build new ones. Because those ones, I think, don't even have secondary, uh, dual purpose main guns. Because the modernization for that was too expensive. Would have been nice to take out the battleship though. But if it's, I mean, the battle is lasting for quite some more time and maybe the land-based aircraft find something find him and sink him, that might be an option. It's when does it become light? In two hours. Yeah. There'll actually be time for some airstrikes from, from land based aviation. Okay, that is a fast ship here. Let's see. Another DD down. What is that? Is it a damaged destroyer or is it a... Oh, well, it's sinking, so who cares? <laughs> Okay, let's go after that Morat if I still find it. That should be a destroyer and that was a torpedo launch. So let's turn in. And they're wasting their torpedoes once more on sinking ships. Oh well. I guess it's my fault when I don't want to micromanage enough. Can we hunt that one down? They are not shooting though. Did they run out of ammo? No, not yet. Okay. It's highly risky, I shouldn't have done that drive-by. Because basically in theory they can still shoot torpedoes if they have some. But okay. He was going up there, let's see if I can find that Murato, even though at daylight, I don't know if my carrier, if my, my land-based aviation should kill him, but me, I'm, I can't, 
at daylight he, he spots me from such a distance that he can just crush my destroyers. How many did I lose? Probably four or five. Oh well. Because it should be a win in the end anyways. Even though I had quite some losses though. But we can still hope for the Marat to be so heavily damaged that he actually sinks out of view. We'll see in the end. It is a valid option. There it is. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, now he's shooting me up and I don't have an airstrike. Yeah. So if the land-based aviation doesn't kill him, I can't. Can they launch torpedoes from this distance? Uh, there's one left. Okay, they can't. I guess I just run. I lost another destroyer because of that. Now let's just hope that the automatically launched aircraft from my bases do some damage. Uh, no, probably not. I honestly don't understand though how he could survive all those torpedo hits. My ships sink after four torpedo hits. They sink after two usually. I mean with torpedo protection they can survive like two. But four? And then it's only a 20,000 ton ship and we are talking about torpedoes from... Okay. That should be air st strikes, no. Let's see. No, it's, it's some AI controlled destroyers. Okay. Um, we're talking about um, torpedoes from 1946. So they should be deadly, especially against a ship of this size. And with that age, that one was probably 20 years old. So I'm kind of surprised. And it's okay, it was considered to be heavy damage. And I still got a major victory, so yeah. Because 14 freighters sunk, okay. And 4 DDs against 6 DDs, that's not that bad actually. Okay, I need to design. a new destroyer um, dual purpose and I want an aft superimposed tor double turret as well I can have 2500 now I think right okay So, eight torpedoes, I want reloads for them. Increased elevation, and how far can they shoot? 14,400, okay. Uh, medium range, AA. Max AA now, and I have 118 left. That's not enough for another knot, I guess. Actually, it is. Impressive. Okay. AA is at max anyways, so zero left. Okay, that seems like a good design. The best I can do right now. Thirty five knots, that's good and eight dual-purpose guns with more ammo. Okay, Mikazuki class.
And the Musashi is done. Perfect. Convoy attack. Another convoy attack. Okay. They can't muster the units. I have um, enough budget. Uh, not, not really. But I will build another Yamato. I want to see them in a, in a surface battle. What do the Soviets have? They actually only have 12 inch. Ah, one of their. the Vibur. Viborg. And the Alexander Suvorov class has 16 inch guns. Eight of them. Okay. That's the strongest they have. The rest is 12 inch. And I have 17 inch. 16 of them. I really want to see them. Yes, finally the invasion of Kamchatka has started. Okay, yes, aircraft please attack the enemy ships. We've got one carrier here. Okay. I don't want it to charge too far forward, so let's slow him down. And that's my battle cruisers again. 20,000 ton class. So are the, the treaty battle cruisers basically. Not ideal. But do I even have better ones? I'm not sure. Completely forgot. Let's launch an air strike then. Torpedo bomber, dive bomber, and fighter. Yeah. Against. I don't know. I haven't selected a target, so I guess I can either select a target or a location, or probably both. See how that works out. Oh, there's a battle cruiser. What kind of heavy cruiser is this? Six inch heavy cruiser with six inch gun. Weird classification. It only has two and a half inch belt. It's like light cruiser. I have no idea why that is. Ah, because it's 10,000 tons. But why is it so big? Occasionally it seems to be completely buggy. I've seen ships that had 70% um, of my battleships were the same speed and had better armor and better armament of the same generation, which where it seemed highly unlikely that they had developed so much technology that they were miniaturizing the, it to such an extent that um, the ships could be this smaller um, the, the, all, all the armor and everything could be this lighter so I, I sometimes I don't understand this and this is the opposite way I have no idea why that ship is supposed to be this this uh, big okay so they have a Frunze class with 11 inch and it's also a treaty battle cruiser what is its armor? Seven and a half inch belt and three deck. What do I have? Eight inch and three. Oh, okay. So basically we are almost equal and I have one inch bigger guns. His, his is faster though, okay. okay. Could you please? Enemy aircraft. Um, 
with you guys, please. And I, I, once more, I didn't realize I actually have two um, air crews, um, aircraft carriers, carrier divisions. Okay, so can you guys attack? I don't know this one. Yeah, let's go. Launch strike. Yeah. Why don't they shoot? Oh, I guess they do. No, at least. Oh god, DD is closing in. I need to turn away. And that looked an awful lot like a torpedo attack. Okay, what are my carriers doing? Charging the enemy? Yes, finally, flash fire, finally an uh, enemy battleship blows up. That's the beauty of fighting the British in this game. This joyful event happens all the time. I actually have to play the, the British late in a later game. It should be funny to go into a battle where you expect to wipe them out because you have far more ships and then suddenly <laughs> five of your ships blow up. Destroyer here. What was spotted here? 520. So, what? Yeah, that is probably the same battle cruiser. Well, let's just go somewhere north here and see what we can find. I've got one contact left, but it's fairly slow. And that one is a stationary ship. Okay, that's a DD. Ah, that's a heavy cruiser. So let's take that one out. It's that weird six inch design, I think. Okay, this one should be one as well. Um, but there's still a lot of time left. Okay. Can we just send put them together? Would that be possible? Eight and seven. AI controlled. Carrier Division 6 and Core. And that one could probably support that one. So what are they doing now? Because they it would be nice if they stayed somewhat close. Okay. Battle Cruiser Division 2 is getting an air attack. But they do have it. I do have cap, well not that much. Well it should help though. But there was an unidentified ship here. Destroyer, okay. And light cruisers. Okay, so let's hunt us some more ships. Oh, that, 
that light cruiser was mine. Completely lost the orientation. Now I need to make sure my carriers don't run into that destroyer. That would be kind would be kind of unfortunate. Okay, what else can they attack? DD. strike mm, yeah, another. oh wait I didn't even launch the other one did I yes I did okay Strike exceeds deck load. Okay. Launch strike. How many, many additional ships do they have? Um, yeah, I'm just. I'm actually just gonna risk it and see what's happening. Whether that one DD can cause a problem for my carriers. to cruise speed, no reason to damage any, any boilers or so. With my fleet fairly close together, I hope my combat air patrol should be more effective. At least so far I didn't have to dodge torpedoes, I think. Well, we'll see in the end then. Okay, my carrier is getting attacked. my cap uh, one only okay oh there are more okay oh, no hit that's a lot of airstrikes now it's kinda annoying in, in the in the long run this is always, this is one of the parts I always am kind of disliked, that you can't accelerate it a lot. Like at a certain point where you have decided you're going to end the battle, as every time a small event happens and stops, you could go into the preferences and turn everything off, but then you have to do it manually in every single battle, and if you forget it, you let your ships run right into a horde of destroyers just to be sunk. So that's not really a solution either. But yeah, we'll see. At least it seems to that my airstrikes are fairly easy to coordinate, fairly easy to do. Mm, I think. I mean, I haven't, I, I should have checked how many of those airstrikes I had in, in that one game were done by... Uh, how many of those torpedo hits were by my air, aircraft or by my destroyers but it looked like they were mostly from the aircraft from the aircraft okay. um, I should probably just turn away, the airstrikes will stop now and then I can finally end that battle. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, they had a carrier too. Okay. Well, I took out their battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser and two destroyers. That, I think, should be a good victory. Yep, 
they gained zero victory points in the Battle of Nakhodka. And the next design is ready, so let's build us some new destroyers. And I think it is time to wrap it up. We are already at one and a half hours again. So the war against the Soviet Union continues and so far we seem to be fairly succeeding. Kamchatka is invaded and that would be basically all. I think maybe the Baltics is the only thing left that can be taken away from them, but I can't. I'm too far away. The only thing I could get the Baltics is by a peace treaty where they suffer such heavy such a strong defeat that they hand me over more territory but apart from that I think the battle is the war is going decently they might have more battleships but as we can see in the weight mine are stronger battle cruisers I've sunk them a few of them I mean both our battle cruisers are crap I think they have only treaty cruisers as do I and they have 105 no they have a good one don't they yeah and what do I have I only have, well, 26,000 tons, that's not really good, and from 1917. So they are actually battle cruisers dating back to the pre-Washington Naval Treaty time. So something like an equivalent to the Congo class, I guess. That is really um, weak. I guess I should think about designing and building new battle cruisers. But for now we're going to stop here. My um, current construction entails one Yamato class is currently being produced, then a number of Mikazuki destroyers and three Kasuga heavy cruisers. But as we can see a lot of ships probably need to be upgraded soon and the maintenance costs are just insane. 10 million per day per month for the aircraft alone and everything I build now is really expensive but that's um, a problem the others have as well so I guess we'll see in the next next time how I am doing against the Soviet Union and how they will be defeated in the end thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed it please consider um, following I hope um, the battles and my streams will continue to improve. Thank you. Goodbye.